Making his second start, a lot to look forward to this evening. Ball movement. Jamal Johnson left open, and he connects, and that's what Auburn does best. Something you could sell to the Auburn fan base. Wheeler couldn't get the bounce. It'll be tracked down by Kamara, and a fresh 20. Open by Farm Rich. Second start for Sharif Cooper, the five-star. Allen Flanagan in a more natural position. Instead of having to run the... Only made four three balls. Very uncharacteristic for them. Remember, that's a team that only lost six times all season. Never get that roll at the carnival. Tigers lead it eight to four. Cooper attacking off glass count in his first basket in the future he's looking towards. And I don't want to say it's next season, but they're going to get pretty much everybody back on this roster next year. Cardwell wide of the dogs. Again, I like what they're doing. Play him off the ball. Let the game kind of come to him. Good what look inside feed. from Johnson. Can't finish. Marl would be better off using some ball fakes. Get defenders up off the floor. Uh, they're, they're a fun team to watch, and you know the wins haven't really followed yet this year. The expectation is that'll change at some point. Inside, 16 to six. Garcia goes to work. Rejected. Stretch Akimbola got there in time. And now Garcia attacking. I mean, that's why you want to go play for Bruce, right? You know you're going to get your, your looks at it. Just seeing Georgia's offensive struggles impact them on the defensive end. Cambridge has eight, which we believe is going to take place this year, and it's a big deal to pick up those quad one wins. Well, think about this. You, the committee is still going to a couple of years ago doing going to the net, getting rid of the RPI. It's a better way to evaluate teams. Johnson inside his first bucket. That after the extremely slow start. Johnson in transition, another block at the rack. That was Cambridge that snuck in there. Johnson gets it. Yeah, he got blocked, but Garcia stayed with the play, created the loose ball, and then Johnson was able to finish. Again, Cooper. And of course, also on the ESPN app. Right now, Tennessee listed as a two seed by Joe. That's a good decision by Wheeler. Didn't force the issue back up. On the floor, so that's a good sign. Tigers lead it by four. They've led most of the night. Auburn's been nothing but man-to-man. -man. They will play a matchup zone basket there, Roy. That's almost a Tom Crean staple. Hard cuts away from the ball to the basket. Johnson gets it back. Try to get it to McMillan. Just checked back in after making his second start of the year. In this first half, it feels like they have about twice as many. <laughs> yes, it does. Great Cooper. Feet. Cooper has four. Auburn lead is eight, approaching three to play in the first. Wheeler, seven. We talked about Cooper being fun to watch. I think Wheeler's fun to watch for a guy his size. Me again. Flanagan benefits Cooper, right? Oh, there's no question. The half, two happiest guys. Call it 11. Critical two minutes here for Georgia. Kamara's checked back in with those two fouls off glass. Horn bangs it home. Wheeler, the step back, the elbow J, well short, a rebound claimed by Akingbola. Here comes Auburn. And Kyer turns it over. Here comes Cooper. Easy basket. Cooper with. Cooper at the deck. No foul, but a foul inside and a chance for three for Kamara. Third personal. And here's a steal. Johnson. Another block. And Johnson spins it in. Really seemed to force the issue. I think if you watch the last two minutes against Alabama on Saturday. So fatigue perhaps a little bit of an issue in a situation like that. Here's Kamara. And he'll have a chance for three. Same build, same kind of explosiveness. Johnson inside. I think that's a bit of a work in progress. Five on the shot clock for Cooper. There he goes, inside off glass. If you look ahead to the next level, and Auburn fans certainly don't want to hear this, they just got Cooper on the floor. His planning run that we've seen this evening has been matched by Auburn. The bounce pass, Cardwell attacking. We've talked about his patience a lot tonight. Saw it against Alabama. Johnson open from the corner. 
count it. The way you play totally. And for Auburn, remember this, it wasn't just Okoro. Auburn lost four double. Dogs start this second half. Here's JT Thor, the step back triple, oh. and it's good. The SEC that I've seen in a long time. But Roy, I want to go back to that Alabama 19 was coached by another former SEC coach, and their leading player was another former SEC. Auburn, only five three-pointers made. Score tells the story. Auburn shooting almost 60% from the floor. I'd like to see him get a few more touches. I'd let him bring it up and mix and match with Wheeler playing off the ball of playing with one Sharif Cooper. Sure. Here's Wheeler penetrating. Boy. And Johnson's going to get credit for that bucket. Tigers, one of the taller teams in the country. Cardwell. Oh, I'm sorry. Not only a tall team, Roy, but a bouncy team. Yeah. Case in point, Cambridge. Season. I mean, he may have one in him tonight by the time it's all said and done. <laughs> Attacking. How about that move? Defeat. Here's Wheeler. That time snuck it up there and in. 13 points. Right. Swatted away. There's a steal. Johnson. Cambridge, quick trigger. Rainbow three is short. Williams a rebound. I, I just don't. Wins are going to be hard to come by. You've got to find offense. Johnson, a strong finish. Give him 12. The head. Cooper should get a hockey assist. He's done a really good job of taking that away. Johnson feeling it. Both Sam well, telling us how emotional they got and just finding out the news. Go ahead. Almost like that bad second half has spilled over into this game. And I would agree. 25 for Cooper. Way up at the buzzer. And Wheeler responds on the other end. Baylor, handful of other great matchups. Alabama, Oklahoma, Texas Tech, and LSU in Baton Rouge. The rim, that's going to be fun. Yeah, well, I, I'd like to see Tennessee, who's trying to learn to play, and the young, talented freshman. I do think they've got to get better offensively. Oh, what a look. Again, expecting to see Texas A&M and Mississippi State. That game has started on the SEC Network alternate channel. Johnson lays it in. Well, they dominated in all phases, really. They were the better team tonight.